Happy to see you joining us in the Network Essential series. Today, let's figure out the fundamentals of the MQTT protocol. MQTT stands for Message Queuing Telemetry Transport, which is a communication protocol that operates on a publish and subscribe model to establish systematic telemetry data transmission from one point to another. This transmission process is governed by a quartet of components, the publisher, the subscriber, the broker, and the topic, each playing a distinctive role in ensuring successful communication. Wondering how that communication looks like? Let me walk you through that process. The publisher is the device that sends data packets or commands, while the subscriber is the one to receive them. The purpose of the broker here is to manage the transmission of the information or command, traveling from point A to point B based on the topics that subscribers are set to receive. Speaking of topics, these are how you register interest of incoming data packets or commands, traveling from one point to another. Topics also act as an indicator that outlines where the data will be traveling. The topics are always represented with slashes in between separate levels that describe the structure of the topic. For example, home slash bedroom slash temperature represents the three-level topic that is arranged in a granular, increasingly fragmented structure. This is done to showcase the logical relationship between data sources and allow subscribers more flexibility in allocating the precise information it seeks to collect. So let's check how the MQTT protocol can assist in a scenario such as remotely monitoring the temperature inside a home using a phone. Let's say there is a temperature sensor acting as the publisher and a phone serving as the subscriber. These two devices are interconnected by a broker, which is in this instance is a pre-configured server. Here it's essential to define the specific data we want to retrieve by forming a topic. And for that, this would be the home slash bedroom slash temperature topic. The temperature sensor constantly sends data to the server. The server then checks the data and distributes it to subscribers according to the topics specific subscribers are assigned to receive. Because the phone was set to be subscribed for the same topic the temperature sensor sends out to the server, the device attains this exact information. As I mentioned, the same communication structure can also be applied to transmitting commands, enabling you to control devices remotely. In such a scenario, you'd be transmitting messages embedded with these specific commands, rather than just transferring plain data packets. Be aware that if the topics on both ends don't align, this communication protocol won't be able to do its job. See, in a nutshell, the MQTT protocol isn't difficult at all, though if you'd like us to dig a bit deeper into this topic, let us know in the comments below. And as always, if you want to receive more topics from us, the publisher, make sure to become a subscriber for our channel and become a part of our community. See you!